Now this is a bill that can actually deter school shootings. The West Virginia Senate passed a bill on Friday to allow veterans and retired police officers to provide armed security in schools. And this is a bill that I can actually get behind. But first, if you're curious about buying gold or silver, check out Lear Capital. Lear Capital is standing by to answer all your questions related to buying physical gold, ah, physical gold and silver that they will discreetly ship directly to your door. Don't wait, do what I did and ask all of the tough questions to help you decide what's right for you and your family. Lear has helped me buy my gold and my silver and they have always answered all of my questions. There is no obligation to buy, so give them a call at 1-800-260-5075. You can always head over to learegg.com as well. You can ask them about gold-backed IRAs and 401ks or how storage works if you don't want to take possession of your physical gold. Call them now, 1-800-260-5075 or learegg.com, links and information down below. Now let's get back to this bill. Now this bill would allow county education boards in West Virginia to contract with military veterans and retired cops to provide armed security at K through 12 public schools. The bill passed unanimously with support from the state's three Democrats in the Senate as well. Now two Republicans were absent and didn't vote, but uh, either way, even if they decided not to, it was passing. Now the bill now heads to the West Virginia House for consideration. We'll see what happens there. But if you live in West Virginia, you can absolutely push this bill through. I think it should pass, but here's the snafu. Here's what I want you to know. Last year, the West Virginia Senate passed a very similar bill, but it failed to advance in the House. A House committee passed a different bill last year that would have allowed K through 12 teachers, administrators, and support personnel with concealed carry permits to carry guns in school, but it wasn't taken up for the full floor House vote. Now this year's Senate bill would allow county boards of education to contract with honorably, honorably discharged veterans, former troopers, deputy sheriffs, as well as former federal law enforcement officers. The contractor would not be a school resource officer. So for those who think police shouldn't be in schools, it would not be a school resource officer in any way, nor would it be considered law enforcement, nor will they have powers of arrest. That contractor would need to have a concealed carry permit. They would need to pass a pre-employment drug screening. They would have to go under, undergo a physical, uh, as well as vision and psychiatric examinations. It would also require these potential contractors to undergo uh, firearm training and lethal use of force training with the West Virginia State Police. Plus, the good news is, is that if this were to pass the House and have a signature from the governor, the county education boards could hire as many of these folks as they deem necessary. I like this bill. There are hundreds of thousands of retired military and police who would drop, would drop by a school all day every day to help keep it safe. These are the bills that help save lives. Let's see if we can get this pushed through the house in West Virginia. If you live in West Virginia, start making the phone calls. Let us know in the comments down below what you get for replies. And uh, I would love to see West Virginia push this through and say, hey, you know what? We're taking this into our own hands. This is how legislators are supposed to act. This is a bill I can get behind. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, as always, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. If you were in the cold yesterday at the VCDL Lobby Day, thank you for coming out and spending some time with us. It was a pleasure to meet all of y'all. And uh, even with the interruption, it was a great, great day. Uh, there were, according to the paper, there were several hundred uh, of, of supporters of the Second Amendment out there and about a hundred on the anti side, there were some commie mommies in red shirts and uh, and some more loud, outspoken folk too. But overall, it was very peaceful, and that's how it's supposed to happen. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.